From Springfield, Missouri, the greatest city in the entire universe, it's the Cozy Corner Show with Todd Shade. Brought to you by SBC's The Cellar, open every Wednesday through Sunday, 4 p.m. until late, at the corner of Walnut and Market Streets in the heart of SBC's Brewery District. His portraits have been commissioned by some of the top names in the area, but also everyday people. And his films have taken him into people's last days on Earth. Um, and a lot of the homes that were built during his time are still here. So there's quite a bit of history. History that includes the Bank Tavern, which happens to be the 19th oldest building in Christian County. The Bank Tavern uh, initially started at, literally as a bank. The bank flourished, did well. It was called the Farmer's Bank of Billings. Uh, it did go out of business during the Great Depression in the 20s. It stayed vacant for a couple of years, and then in 1933 opened as a tavern under the Watkins family over in Crane, Missouri. Kill all of the Spaniards except for one priest who lives just long enough, fortunately for our story, to make it out somewhere and to tell what happened and where he had come from and about this silver mine. There's also one group that many locals would easily recognize that's also associated with the Bread Tray Mountain legends. The Bald Knobbers being a you know popular vigil. Aliens visiting Earth? <laughs> what if we told you President Eisenhower actually met with this? Just listen to me. Okay, so it wasn't doom and gloom like what is commonly displayed in Hollywood. Time's up. In his new book, President Eisenhower's Close Encounters, author Paul Blake Smith describes the president's alleged meeting. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Seldom Heard Music here on Public Radio in the Ozarks KSMU. It's all about the music. Um, that's been my philosophy, you know, since day one. I'm Mike Smith, host and originator of this program back in August of 1982. For 40 years, Mike Smith has been bringing bluegrass music to the Springfield metro area through his show, Seldom Heard Music, that airs Saturday evenings on KSMU. He got his start in radio while in high school. 